What's up team? Today I'm gonna show you a really cool science trick with a candle and a balloon and some water and you're gonna be like, what? I didn't know that was possible. So, let's get to testing. Alrighty, so for the first step, um, I have these really big giant balloons because on Nicopedia, now we like to go big. We've got some 24 inch balloons. You could do this with a small balloon. Uh, you know, you could, you could, but uh, it's not what we're doing today. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually very, very lightheaded. Woo. All right, I think that'll work. I'm gonna go ahead and cap this thing off now. As you guys know, on the Nicopedia show, uh, we love duct tape. One of our favorite things to do. We're gonna tape this balloon right here. My taping skills are amazing. Oh my gosh, they're awful. Just ruined that all in one swoop. All right, team, so here's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be lighting up this uh, candle right here and I'm gonna be holding it right under this balloon. Now, let me know in the comment section below what you think is gonna happen. If you think it's gonna blow up, hit that uh, like button. If you think that nothing's gonna happen, let me know in the comment section below. So, here we go. I'm gonna give you a couple seconds here. Hit that like button if you think this balloon is gonna blow up with me. Holding this candle right to the bottom of it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Not what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> uh, the last result was hilarious, actually. I uh, didn't think that was quite gonna happen. Anyway, so I uh, got a new balloon. We blew it up a little more. I didn't realize how big these things could get. This thing is huge, huge, huge. So I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it this time to right here. All right, I'm gonna put these uh, earplugs in. And again, hit that like button if you think that this is going to pop with the fire. Uh, and comment section down below if you think that something else is gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and just light her up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, but we kind of expected that. Um, you know, I put a, I put a, a lighter uh, right up against the balloon and it put a little hole in the balloon. The pressure of the air that was inside uh, it came out and just ripped the balloon apart. Now we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna fill another balloon with a little bit of water and then I'm gonna fill it up with the same, the same, like, same size, same really big, really tight with air. And we're gonna try it all over again. I'm gonna show you something really cool. So, okay, uh, predictions, predictions what will happen. Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get to it. Oh yeah. As you guys can see, we have our big giant balloon here and at the bottom here we have some Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. The difference is, this time, I'm gonna hold the flame right where the water is. All right, here we go. Comment, comment down below, let me know what you think is gonna happen. All right, here we go. Whoa, what? What? Whoa, what? Oh, I held that thing for like 10 seconds. Right on the balloon. Did you see that? Come in for a close up. All right, I'm gonna do this one more time just so you guys know that I did this exactly correct. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not playing around. There's no, no trick here. This is just water right here. Now watch, I'm gonna take the flame. All right, turn it on. And I'm gonna put it right up against the balloon right on the balloon. Look at that. It is on the balloon, right on the balloon. And it's not popping. No pop, no popping. Fire right on the balloon. It's actually charring the balloon and it's still not popping. 
indestructible balloon. All right, now I'm gonna tell you guys what the deal is. All right, so the first time I took this flame and I held it against the balloon and the flame, the heat, ate right through the rubber of the balloon and it popped. The second time I did this, I held this flame against this uh, sort of puddle at the bottom of the balloon. Now what, what happened was really interesting. Water is a very special chemical because it has a really high specific heat capacity. What that means is, is that water does a really, really, really good job at absorbing heat. So as I was holding this flame against that little water puddle on the bottom, the water was actually absorbing the heat and actually not letting the flame uh, burn right through the rubber. So in a way it was kind of like the water was like, yo, rubber. I got this. Boom, flame. Take a hike, bruh. And so uh, that's pretty much what happened in science terms. Um, if you guys like this video, go and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know. Were you guys super surprised that just a little tiny bit of water could actually make this balloon invincible against this flame right here? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys really soon. Okay, just to prove that this balloon uh, is not like a special rubber or anything like that. I'm going to put the flame against the side right here and we're going to see what happens. <laughs> it was so weird to like let the water at the bottom it just kind of let it drop right out. So there you go. As you guys can see, this wasn't some sort of special balloon or anything. Like it was, it was just like all the other ones. Um, it was latex rubber. And so if I light the flame where the water is not, we get the same reaction, the balloon explodes.